Halo, the TV series from Paramount, has been canceled. It disrespected the fans. It ignored the source material. Nobody watched it. And so now it's been canceled. And it probably did appeal. I hear season two is better than season one. I gave up after season one because as a fan of Halo, it just changed too many things. It completely changed who the main protagonist is, that is Master Chief. It changed his entire character. In my opinion, it didn't match anything. All of a sudden, we're watching Master Chief have sex. Like, what the freak, dude? <laughs> like, what is happening? Which, okay, maybe you could do that if you do it in a correct way. But they completely ignored the fans. They completely destroyed the the story, the source material, as it were. And as a result, nobody watched. And look, lo and behold, two seasons later, it's been canceled. Let's go over why it's been canceled and then just give an example of how they ignored the source material and talk about whether or not we think Halo should be done again. There are some rumors floating around that like uh, Christopher Nolan, for instance, is really vying to do Halo, that Amazon Prime is looking at getting those rights, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know if any of that's true. But let's discuss, Do we should they take a break? Should we reboot it? Should we take off where it, where it came from? I think you if you redo Halo as a TV series, you have to reboot the whole thing. You got to just ignore Paramount Plus version, and you got to just start from scratch from day one and redo the whole thing. Cleanse our palates, as it were. Now, some of you might be like, well, I didn't actually hate the Halo TV show. That's great. I'm not one of those people, and clearly a lot of people didn't like it. They were turned off by it. And I, here's the thing. I th if you do fan service, I'll give you an example. Dune, Dune did fan service. Lord of the Rings, Lord of the Rings did fan service. Fallout, the new Fallout series, did fan service and absolutely crushed it. And as a result of pleasing your fans, guess what? Everybody likes it because a good. They're fans because the story is good. They're fans because the game was good. They're fans because they were immersed in this world. You don't need to screw that up. Just bring it to life on the big screen in an interesting way, and you win. And you win. That's it. The fans are happy. As a result, it becomes a huge success like what Fallout was. Halo TV show canceled. This is over at purexbox.com. Halo TV show canceled by Paramount+. Plus. After just two seasons, Xbox will reportedly seek another outlet for a third season. I think you got to you got to start from scratch. I don't want to see a third season based off what has already happened. I don't want to even see the same actors necessarily. Just start from scratch. Start from scratch. We've got some breaking news about the Halo TV show with Paramount Plus announcing it's officially canceling the series after two series seasons. Here's here is the official Paramount Plus statement about the cancellation of its Halo TV series via the Hollywood Reporter. They said this is Paramount Plus. They said, we are extremely proud of this ambitious series and would like to thank our partners at Xbox 343's Industries and Amblin Television, along with the showrunner and executive producer David Wiener, his fellow executive producers, the entire cast led by Pablo Schreiber as Master Chief, Master Cheeks, <laughs> and the amazing crew for all their outstanding work. We wish everyone the best going forward. I, too, wish everyone the best going forward, and I hope that if this is redone, that the third series is a reboot that it's not the third season that it's a separate season. Don't even don't even call, whatever. Change it up. Start from scratch. Although the Halo series is being axed by Paramount, it might not be over just yet. According to the source, Amblin Television, Xbox and 343 Industries are reportedly looking for, quote, another outlet to secure the season, the series for a third season. Paramount Plus is believed to be supportive of this idea. I don't. I'm supportive of the idea. Here's the thing. If you're Xbox, if you're Microsoft, if you're 343, you're looking at this. You're looking at what Fallout did for you. You're looking at what Fallout did for Bethesda and the Fallout series. And in a world where Game Pass is what you're pushing, a subscription series, you want all of the press you can get. And so series that do really well and crush it and bring alive games that are exclusive to your subscription service do nothing but help you. And so, of course, I, I, I do think they're probably looking for it. But again, I want them to start from scratch. So some of you might be saying right now in the comments, I could see it. Wait a minute. They didn't disrespect fans. They just took a new take on it. How did they disrespect fans? They didn't disrespect the source of material, blah, blah, blah. Let's take a look at this article written back in 2022 when Series one's Series 1 first came out. The first, the first season, rather, Season 1 of Halo first came out. Halo's show writer says they didn't even look at the video game. So let's read the quote. 
uh, in its entirety. And I think this is the main problem. Think about go look up any interview with the cast members of Fallout. They played the games. They lived the games. They breathed the games. They were being que- uh, questioned, not questioned. They quizzed. That's the word I'm looking for. They were being quizzed on aspects of the game that only diehard fans would know, and they knew it. They were able to answer it. The main actress was able to answer those questions, and it was clear she, too, understood the game. She, too, understood what fans understood about the game. She got the world. And when you take that extra step, when you do that, that's how you respect the fans. That's how you make the show succeed. Um, And Fallout did it, and the Fallout actors did it, and and... The fact that the Halo crew didn't even look at the games is so foolish. So in an interview with Variety, again, remember, this is written in, in 2022. This is over at Screen Rant. Kane reveals that they didn't actually look at the Halo games in order to make the show. Kane explains that instead, he and the writers delved deep into the characters and the world they were creating, which helped them not feel creatively hampered by what had been done before in the video games. Check out, check out Kane's full comment below. We didn't look at the game. We didn't talk about the game. We talked about the characters and the world. So I never felt limited by it being a game. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, some people are saying that this quote is taken out of context, that they did play the game, um, but they didn't focus on the game. And uh, even if that's the case, I think that that also is a mistake. Fallout didn't didn't. Fallout focused enough on aspects of the game and the world that made it important. They completely changed what we know. Master Chief is a mysterious legend, a legend. And they didn't even like, and they blew it up after one episode, taking his mask off and then just made him this common man. And that's not what Halo is. That's not what Master Chief is. That's not what the Spartan program is. And so they took away everything right there in one move, in one episode, in my opinion, Two episodes, in my opinion, they took away everything that was special about Master Chief. Master Chief is not a common man. He doesn't just have sex with random random humanoids who are captured and side with the aliens. That doesn't happen. He doesn't walk around naked all the time and become known as Halo Master Cheeks. That's just my opinion, though. I would love to know what you guys think. Do you think there's going to be a reboot? Would you like to see it scrapped or would you like to see them continue here? Again, full perspective, full disclosure. I did not watch any of season two because I was so turned off by season one. People said season two got got better. I think they destroy they just destroyed it for me in season one. So uh, for me personally, I couldn't continue with it, but would love to know what you guys think. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Was it not as bad as I'm making it out to be? Do you think that they did disrespect the fans or they didn't disrespect the fans? Did they follow the source material? Do you think they did? I don't. Let me know in the comments below. Again, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. My name is X1 the Gamer. We cover videos like this all the time right here on this channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.